These days, defensive midfielders are much more than bruisers forcing skilled players of the ball with hard tackles. In modern day football, they are dynamic players who are often the first player in build up play. Today, we've listed our favorite young defensive midfielders for career mode. Let us start by saying we only looked at players whose primary position is defensive midfielder. So any player that has it as a secondary position will not be included here. The list is ordered by how the players felt for us in game, taking into account their ratings and potentials. With that said, let's dive in with number eight on our list, Eduardo Camavinga. Camavinga is rated an incredible 82 overall at just 20 years of age, and his potential is 89. He has four-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot, with his left being his primary. At this point, Kamavinga is already a well-known player all around the world, despite his young age. Skills that stand out for him are his ball control, passing, tackling, and physical tools like strength and stamina. In Kamavinga's case, these stats translate in-game really well. What stood out most when playing with him was his passing, ball control, and strength. Kamavinga is able to bully opponents of the ball and set up the counter-attack immediately with his ball control and passing. However, he lacks a little agility, even though he has an 81 agility rating. When chasing down opponents, it is easy to overcommit and miss the tackle. On the ball, it is difficult to cut back on a defender as he is slow to turn. But overall, Kamavinga is an amazing defensive midfielder who will dispossess opponents with his strength and who is able to immediately start the counter-attack. For manager career, it might be difficult to get him as he is valued 48 million pounds or 57 million euros, but for a player career, he is an obvious choice when you want to be at the top as fast as possible. Moving on to number seven on our list, Kobe Mainu. Now, unlike Kamavinga, Mainu is just breaking through on the big stage at Manchester United, and this shows in his overall. He has the lowest overall out of all the players on our list with a 65 overall rating at 18 years old. Now, we fully expect Mainu to develop quick as his potential is a solid 87. His standout stats are his balance, agility, composure, and acceleration. In-game, Mainu plays way above his overall rating of 65. Even in the Premier League on ultimate difficulty, we were able to make important plays with him. He has a quick first step and is super agile, which means he can easily stay with technical dribblers. He is strong enough to push opponents of the ball and take over possession. Once in possession is where Mainu really shines. Like I said before, he has a super quick first step, and with his agility and ball control, he is able to get away from defenders or make them miss. He is also great in passing, which makes him very usable in the attack as well. As Mainu is still rated very low, he is a steal at this point of his career, only being valued at 1.9 million pounds or just above 2 million euros. So whether you are into manager career or player career, Kobe Mainu is a very good and fun defensive midfielder for both options. Then at number six, we've got Moises Caicedo, the 22-year-old Ecuadorian from Chelsea. He is currently rated at 79 overall with a potential of 85. Now you would expect a little more from a player who recently transferred for over 100 million. But here we are. In-game Caicedo actually feels a lot quicker than his stats will tell you. He has a very quick first step and turns on a dime. Defensively, he is a great tackler and with his speed, he is able to stop quick counterattacks from the opponents. That same quality also jumps out when taking over possession. Caicedo is an excellent passer with good ball control, so after you've taken over possession, he is able to quickly get the ball forward, either by pass or dribble. One thing lacking is his finishing, but as this is not what you typically look for in a defensive midfielder, we won't judge him on that. Concluding, Caicedo is an excellent defensive midfielder, but he comes with a hefty price as Chelsea paid that much for him. For a player career, he can be a fun option, but as his potential is 85, I would not expect anything to fancy here. Coming in at number five, we have Manuel Ugarte, the 22-year-old Uruguayan at PSG. Ugarte is rated at 81 overall with a potential of 86, with his standout stats being aggression, interceptions, composure, and standing tackles. However, when you play with Ugarte in-game, he is much, much more than just these standout stats. As expected, Ugarte is super strong when dueling for the ball. He has enough speed to cover a lot of ground without being really fast. When he goes for a tackle, most of the times he doesn't miss. This is where his aggression and standing tackle skills shine. Where he surprised us the most out of probably every player on our list is when the ball is at his feet. Even though his agility is only rated at 69, he feels a lot more agile than that. He is able to move with the ball in his feet and get past defenders. He has solid passing and even scored a banger. Overall, Ugarte feels like an amazing player that plays higher than his 81 overall. He won't come cheap, but he will be worth it. 
For a player career, we would definitely recommend him as he plays for a attacking team with loads of superstars around him, which make gameplay more fun in a defending role. Speaking of somebody who plays above his overall rating, at number four, we have Samuele Ricci at Torino. The 22-year-old Italian is currently rated 76 overall with a potential of 86, but in-game Ricci already feels closer to a 80 overall than to his 76. His standout qualities are his stamina, short passes, tackling, and agility. This is quite a unique skill set as it is very well-rounded. This also makes playing with Ricci super fun. With his speed, he is able to close down gaps quickly, and with his agility, he is able to stay with the best of dribblers. Then with one of his main qualities being tackling, he is able to dispossess anybody who comes into his path. Going to the other side of the ball, he is much better than expected with the ball in his feet. His passes are accurate and powerful, and his dribbles are convincing. With his agility, you are able to twist and turn yourself into some space and then set up the attack. With his highly rated stamina, he is able to run up and down the pitch the entire 90 minutes without dropping quality. Samuele Ricci is actually quite the bargain, being valued at around 14 million pounds or 16 million euros. For player career, Samuele Ricci offers a fun underdog journey where you take a young talent to glory and his skill set will definitely bring forth fun gameplay. For number three of our list, we head over to Belgium where 18-year-old Arthur Vermeeren plays for Belgium title holders Antwerp. Vermeeren is currently rated 75 overall with a great potential of 87. Now just like our previous players, Vermeeren plays a lot better than his overall suggests. His standout qualities are his vision, passing and stamina, which make Vermeeren the definition of a modern defensive midfielder. He is dynamic on and off the ball and is able to do this for the full 90 minutes. Defensively, he is fast enough to close down gaps quickly, and he is very strong in his standing tackles, just very convincing overall. Then when he gets the ball in his feet, he really starts to shine, cutting and turning away from defenders easily. After creating space himself, he is able to make every pass necessary to set up a teammate. Vermeeren just offers great fun in the defensive midfielder role, as he is dynamic and very capable on both sides of the ball. Valued at 10 million pounds or 12 million euros, he is an absolute steal if you ask us. And with his level of play, he will quickly become a star player for any team. That brings us to our penultimate player. At number two, we have Stefan Bicetic, the 19-year-old Spaniard at Liverpool. Now, Bicetic might come as a surprise this high on our list, but he is placed this high because of the sheer joy we had playing with him. This mainly comes down to his qualities when in possession of the ball. He is an incredible dribbler, making defenders miss left and right, and he also has great vision, delivering pass after pass to his teammates. Through the air or on the ground, it doesn't matter to Bacetic. And remember, he is only rated at a 72 overall at the moment. With a potential of 86, there is so much more to come. Now, we won't hide the fact that defensively, he still has some developing to do. He is very weak when dueling for the ball and his tackles aren't convincing anybody. But this is all forgotten when this guy has the ball in his feet and at the end, that is what football is about. He is able to make FC24 a lot of fun. And that is the main reason we play this game, right? For player career, Bicetic offers another great underdog journey, starting at a 72 overall and fighting for your spot in the Liverpool starting 11. But with Bicetic qualities, you will have so much fun doing so. Then, for a manager career mode, he is an absolute bargain again. Valued at 3 million pounds or 5 million euros, he is within reach for almost any caliber team, whether it's permanent or on a loan deal. Before we finish with our number one young defensive midfielder, did we miss anybody? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy the video and are getting something out of it, please leave a like, as this really helps us out. For more content like this, subscribe and check out our videos. If you want a list on a particular group of players, let us know as we are always open to suggestions. Now, introducing our number one young defensive midfielder, Romeo Lavia. The 19-year-old Belgium currently plays for Chelsea after transferring from Southampton last summer. The youngster started in the renowned Academy of Anderlecht before moving over to the Manchester City Academy, where he would play a grand total of 97 minutes in the first team before transferring to Southampton. Lavia is currently rated at 73 overall with a potential of 86. His standout qualities are dribbling and ball control, passing and physical skills like strength, stamina, jumping and balance. In-game Lavia is just incredibly fun to play with. He is strong when dueling for the ball, is able to dispossess anybody and shrugs off defenders left and right. 
You are able to defend super aggressively and when you take over possession you fly forward. With his strength and ball skills he's able to race forward and set up teammates for an attack. Now the only thing you won't do easily with Lavia is score enormous amounts of goals. But at the end, what do you expect from a defensive midfielder? Whether you prefer player career or manager career, we believe you can't go wrong by picking Lavia as your defensive midfielder of choice. That's it for our picks for young defensive midfielders. If you're looking for a young striker or a young winger, we already got you covered in these videos. Goodbye from us.